you this automatic range of 2000 kilo nepton and 3000 kilo nepton capacity compression testing machines have been designed for reliable and consistent testing of a wide range of specimens these compression testers are the results of continuous research to upgrade the testing machines with the latest technologies to conform to the latest standards in terms of its technical properties taking into account client requirements. These also meet the requirements of CE norms for the safety and health of the operator. The load frame consists of the following load frame, compression platens, upper platen with ball seating, Lower platen, loading cylinder assembly, distance pieces, limit switch, front and rear protective doors. Udis dual stage power pack which is controlled by BC100 TFT unit is designed to supply required oil to the load frames for loading. The hydraulic unit consists of dual stage pump, motor, distribution block and oil tank. All the operations of BC-100 are controlled from the front panel consisting of the 800 x 480 pixel, 65,535 color resistive touch screen display and function keys. Four analog channels are provided for load cells, pressure transducers or displacement transducers. BC-100 configuration. Device menus are, specimen settings. Test parameters, frame selection, device settings, decimal points, test results, control parameters, channel settings, calibration, login, unit system, and test screen. Include the following specimen settings menu, sample type, dimensions, pace rate type, pace rate, laboratory number, and area. The specimen settings page is 12 different specimen types and tests performed with these specimens. To select a different specimen type and test, touch the type of the sample you want to test, and the specimen type options will be displayed. Dimensions of the specimen are entered to the BC100 TFT unit. You can choose the pace rate type, load or stress. Enter the speed of loading by touch keyboard. Laboratory numbers can be changed with this page, as the size parameters of a specimen are entered. These are factors are calculated and viewed automatically by the BC-100. Test parameters. This page is used to change test parameters. Test number. Test numbers can be changed with this page. Maximum. Available load. When the machine reaches this value, it stops automatically. Failure threshold. The machine starts crushing detection after exceeding this threshold value. Failure detection. When the maximum load value reached and the test is decreased by the percentage value set here. The system terminates the test process and machine stops. Zero suppression. It is used to eliminate the electrical noise in the readings at the beginning of the test. Freeze load. After reaching this value, the machine waits in this constant load, which is used for observation of the specimen's static behaviors. Graphic type. This parameter is for displaying the required graphic type on the test screen during test. Maximum graph load. This parameter is used when the load versus time graphic type is preferred and used while drawing the graph. Maximum graph stress. This parameter is used when the stress versus time graphic type is preferred and used while drawing the graph. Frame selection. The test types can be chosen from that menu. Device settings. System clock and system date. This shows the clock and date information of the previous test selected. You can change the system clock and system date.
device mode. It can be controlled automatically or manually. Decimal point. It is used for adjusting the number of digits after decimal point, for load, stress and pace rate values. Test results. This page shows test results for each test. If you insert USB flash disk and touch export results area, the BC100 TFT saves the results into the flash disk. Control parameters. This page is for controlling first approach speed and pace rate adjustments. Do not change without permission from UDIS Technical Service. To active channel settings and calibrations, you must enter password from login. Channel settings. The gain values for signal conditioners must be defined. Do not change without permission from UDIS Technical Service. 50 mV is a suitable gain value for transducers, and the resolution of the readout unit is 18. Calibrations Enter real values at the calibration points. The first value must be zero. Other calibration points can be set by increasing the value as 10% or 20% of the maximum load capacity of the machine. In order to get raw values, touch Start key. Rotate the pace rate and calibration adjusting knife to the clockwise position to reach maximum pace rate level. When the value in the real value column is matched with the value you read from the load cell placed in between the plates, touch Red key. Do the same process until completing raw values to import at all calibration points. Touch Stop and OK to save changes for calibration. Unit system. In this version of the machine, SI, metric and imperial units are used. Test screen. The test is carried out while this page is displayed. The complete test from start to end can be seen on the graph through this page. Starting to test. Place the sample on the lower platen and be sure that sample is centered correctly by using the marks on the lower platen. Close the front door. Check that the previous specimen type and sizes set confirm the required values for the next test on the specimen settings page. If changes are needed, modify them. Touch the start key to run the test. Wait for the test to finish. The test machine stops automatically and the piston returns to its initial position after the sample is broken. Software the device communicates from Ethernet port. The IP number of the computer 
you this automatic range of 2000 kilo nebton and 3000 kilo nebton capacity compression testing machine.